Assassin's Creed Shadow's long dev time was to make it as authentic as possible. Ubisoft says the wait for Assassin's Creed Shadows was longer than Valhalla because the team gave itself the time to iterate and ensure an accurate depiction of feudal Japan. In fact, according to Shadows lead producer Carl Unni, thanks, Games Industry, biz, the latest AC game got a full 25% longer than Valhalla, which he says is essential to maintain the quality the series is known for. It's always a balance between time and costs, but the more time you have, the more you can iterate. Yes, you can put more people on a project and do it in a shorter time, but that doesn't give you more time to iterate. At three years, Assassin's Creed Valhalla was one of the series' biggest games in terms of development time, but Shadows has outgrown that by a full year. Assassin's Creed Shadows will have been in development for four years when it launches this November, which will be the longest time spent on a game in the series. Ani says this as much down to aesthetics and immersion as it is quashing bugs and polishing pixels, as the development team needs time to learn the particulars of each new historical setting. We are trying to create a game that is as authentic as possible. It's something we take pride in, and that is also a very long process. When we build a Japanese house from feudal Japan, it is very different from, say, a French medieval house or an English one. So you have to learn as artists where things go inside a feudal Japanese house. Maybe the food doesn't go there. You have to get everything you need to know and learn it. And that process is long. Lead producer Carl Unni claims that this is mainly because Ubisoft is trying to make the game as authentic as possible. According to the game's lead producer, Carl Unni, in an interview with Games Industry, Biz, the long development time on Assassin's Creed Shadows is all about ensuring the game is as authentic as possible. Assassin's Creed games have long been considered incredible feats of historical accuracy, so much so they can be considered educational tools in some capacity, and Ani explains that getting that level of accuracy right takes time. We are trying to create a game that is as authentic as possible. It's something we take pride in, says Ani. And that is also a very long process. When we build a Japanese house from feudal Japan, it is very different from, say, a French medieval house or an English one. So you have to learn as artists where things go inside a feudal Japanese house. Maybe the food doesn't go there. You have to get everything you need to know and learn it. And that process is long.